Father, we thank you for your presence in our presence. For what you are set to do this morning again. For the lives you want to transform. Can somebody clap and celebrate Jesus? Oh, for the transformation happening in our lives. Ah, our not real. Our lie, our lock there. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That only what you can do, you will do this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Ay, ay, ay. If you're excited to be in service, I want you to give the Lord a scream and a clap together. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to give somebody a Bluetooth i5. Bluetooth i5. And tell the person, this service is because of me. Ay, 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 ay. Bluetooth i5. My wife is going to look for me now. Up. Bluetooth i5. Even tell the next person. Nami gong gong. They make this service for. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Put your right hand on your head, everybody. I just saw three crowns coming on people now. Thank you, Lord. 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 You tell me my Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Come on, give Jesus a big hand and sit down, everybody. Our time is running. I want to tell you again that when we are when we are when we are worshiping, it's not a custom that I will sing before I preach. No, it is not. It is how me I connect to my God. And the secret of champions and stories, as you know, that's one of the things that I do with God. And before you know it, he opens heaven and I begin to see TV about my life or TV about people's life. But hear me, somebody in the service, this is, ah, you can keep quiet, but I don't know the person that owns this one. This is the service you will remember for your testimony. Yeah. I like it that a lot of people did not say amen. Is are you there? Uh, you know that your amen that's always bigger than everybody. Oh, uh-huh. Thank you. Uh, I said this is the service you will remember for your testimony. Mm. That's good. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing in the series we started last week. Who was blessed last week? Ah, uh, you are following online, okay? Yeah, people are joining us on WhatsApp. Bukola is doing a good job on WhatsApp already. Uh, people are home; they want to join us, but they are not here. But you know, we have a lot of uh, people joining us this morning again. Kuru or not Kuru, our service is continuing. But we saw, we can see that woman that does the wonderful jollof rice we eat. Uh, with our mommy, exactly, a round of applause for her. She's in service this morning. Yeah, God bless you. Good to have you around. Good to have you. Um, Iyanu, mommy, exactly. Remember, Iyanu, Nick, bad, do go in. Koja, come at me, delay. Let's God help us. Miracle can be in your surrounding, and you don't get to your house. Then I want your mouth food. Some people can use eyes to commonize glory. You want a glory long koja. So the reason why you have come this morning, may God set you. God bless you. Um, Motu, all the way from Ado, Kitty. Uh, good to see you. Please uh, celebrate my Motun. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy to see Motun like that. Hello, me. Go and help me to celebrate Motun. <laughs> we are celebrate Motun where you are. Clap for her. Clap for her. She's, she's listening. Uh, uh, I like that. Yes. We started last week on a junction that is heavy. The theme for this month is Emergence of Champions. 
and the first thing that me and you, I wanted to box the Holy Ghost with Emimo, Kilomi. How would you say that in this time of Kuru, that and when you take back, me, their life is locked down, their bank account is locked down, their destiny is locked down, everything about them is school is locked down, YEC is locked down, Jamb is locked down, Senate is locked down, Airport is locked down. Economy is locked down. People can come locked down. God, why is it this season that you will now declare that you are doing emergence of champions? And he told me immediately, and I don't work with the calculation and with the situation of men. I don't. And that's what he said something last week. That is the God that created time, took himself out of time so that he can do anything with time. Did somebody hear me now. Is the God that created time, took himself out of what time so that he can do anything with time. So that God is here this morning. So he said, the emergence of champion. So I want to ask this morning: do I have somebody who knows that is a champion in the house? Wave those hands. Wave those hands. Don't don't joke with it all. You see, don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. This is how I always win Agape too. Those days. When when Bishop would say, I would say, Yes, you were laughing at me. But boy, you badu who respect that egg bone. One equal egg bone, you are like by ya. Yes, you are egg bone among them, but there's nothing to do egg bone. Just do egg bone. So, and that was how I came. I told you, I came to foot out 25 on that level. So I was really Egmon. So it was Egmon here at Bayagitigan. But ladies and gentlemen, in no distant time, the God that can restore what the Palmer Worm has eaten laid his hand upon my life, and every year was turned around. He can turn your own around to this morning. So when he says he wants to do a margins of champions, Naim Sabio. Is the one that's savvy. So we are continuing this morning on that place where we stopped. We stopped last week. Okay, let me retreat last week. I told you that you are a champion. And I said something beautiful about last week that I love, by the way. And we'll get there next week. But let me touch it a little bit. We, we touched the foundation last week. I'm not going to touch it today at all. Then next week we're going to eat it. One thing I said last week was that God is not about to do anything to make you a champion. I mean, it's a very odd statement that I'm saying. A lot of people won't, won't, might want to disagree with that. But when I get to it next week, you understand. See, your formation is champion. Your thinking is championship. I am not motivating you. I'm telling you the fact of life. The fact of God. Everything about you is championship. It's not about to... It's not about to generate championship in you. Somebody hear this one. God is not going to a factory to refabricate you. What it be seen when see is in you. We'll, next week we'll get to why some of us are not imagined. But just follow me. So a lot of people are just here and you think that you are not because of your family background, because of your pains, because of your challenges. I know. Uh, listen, I know that some people are champions, but they are not yet operating championship. I know. So in here, we'll treat that. But the first thing we eat last week is that, regardless of the pain, Charles, the brother said, "Who who born you? Where you born? How you born? Did you see the three? Who born you? Where you born? How you born? All of them together does not stop that you are a champion." So can I get one thousand naira notes there? Let me start from there this morning. One thousand naira notes, quick, quick, somebody. This is where we are starting from this morning. Okay, don't go far. Take it. I think it's here. Is it already? Is it already? Friends, what is this? Emma Damilo. What is this? One thousand. Isaac, what is this? Are you sure? What am I doing now? You take this off camera later. What, what am I doing now? Eh? Eh? Okay, after this damage, what is this? 
Ah, ah. What did you say I was doing to it? Ah, ah. Eh. But as we are here now, by the time you stretch this money back and go, is it 1,000? By the way, we are going to change 1,000. Rough, or she one thousand. Nico change, So, who is squeezing your life? And you are now thinking that you are nobody. Got him on solar row in here. Say, they squeeze your father. Your father squeezes you. You now think you are, you are still a champion. It has not finished. Now, I want to do another one. Okay, left, right. Let me share for me. Hey, 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 What is this? What is this? I like what she said. When it's rough and dirty, all you need to do is to pick it up back, straight it up dust it and put the value it has in it from your mind and go and make it do what 1000 can do hey, me. go and make it do what go and make it do what go and make it do what what 1000 can do ladies and gentlemen stop limiting your do by the stress and pains you have gone through stop limiting your what your do your do you are limiting your do your do because you feel something has happened to you a pain has hit you your father is dead your mother is dead well if you begin here today want to hear mommy is that she might be they will get up what it is still one thousand so the the thing we are saying this morning is that regardless what this one thousand be guys you know the difference between mint and rough money it's mean to and the one that is rough though it's not really torn eh? so it is because I like this one because it is mint ah, we still have this one because it is mint does not mean that it has changed from 1000 because it is dirty does not mean that whether mint or dirty the both of them can still do what 1000 can do is somebody here this morning so what is that roughness what is that pain what is that challenge? What is that error that is making you feel that they have now removed the DNA of championship in you? That is what God is telling me to treat first. Who told you they have removed the DNA of championship in you? Hey, I know that we sealed you up, but in, ah, hear this one. Inside the seal up is a 1,000. Hey, they go. I know they sealed you up. No wonder. What all the thing you need is the break of the seal. But my pain is that you are sealed up, but you are now refusing to walk towards what 1,000 can do. Because you are thinking that it is that seal that now defines you. Who told you that? You are a champion. So we proved it last week. That by creation, did you remember? You are a champion. We can't take, get the tape. Anybody that is here, we're on Telegram. Go ahead. By creation, you are a champion. Which other dominion mandate? Then we said the one that I love. By formation, by when mommy and daddy is doing shocky shocky on the bed, you won the competition. Let me retract that because the biology class that I love, I was a very bad boy. I didn't go to class. I didn't do anything. But the day they told us that they are going to teach reproduction, all the bad boys came to class. All the bad boys came to class. We won't go and hear reproduction. And when we came, the only thing we heard that we cannot forget is that over a lot of stomatozoa was deposited by daddy. And when daddy deposited the stomatozoa, God said, on your marks, get ready, go. Stomatozoa now begin to run, 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 run. And you came out. And I told you, I said, that stomatozoa, you don't have ants. Does not have leg. Does not have eyes. Does not have brain. Cannot smell cannot think yet formless as you are you want a race now that you now have legs Inko. now that you have hands Inko. now that you have eyes Inko. 
Now that you can think, you can, you can do better. Now. We had it to say that by covenant, you are a champion. Then lastly, we said, if you forget all of this one, don't forget that by redemption, which is the hottest one, you are a champion by redemption. And what did that tell us? That redemption now hinged on love. And we said he loves you so much. And we ended with one wonderful cliche. He's a professional. And he loves me. He's a professional. And he loves me. And I asked you, ladies and gentlemen, who can be more professional about your life than you decree your creator? Hey, Joe, can we take this product now to Nokia Nokia factory for them to fix it? The engineer might be able to do it, but it will take time. Because he has not lost it before. But the engineer that has lost it, nowhere to go straight. So there can be nobody as professional on this microphone than the fabricator maker of this microphone. So ladies and gentlemen, the person we need to look up to is that God that said he loves you. So he's so professional about your life and he's still consistently following you up and down. They're not that alone. Jide, he loves you. Let me prove that to you this morning. Can we look at Deuteronomy chapter 7? Deuteronomy chapter 7. Let's start from there this morning. Deuteronomy chapter 7. All of you on this side, you read verse 1. All of you on this side, you read verse 2. Are we ready? See, be ready. This, 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 this an excitement is going to hit you in the scripture. You're going to love, you're going to now understand again. Another one is going to be added to you. You're going to understand again. Yatosikbe, O love, Zacchaeus, what do I choose here? You need there now. It's a professional. He loves you. As he, he now chose you. Ah, no baton. No baton. Well, let them complain up to tomorrow. Anybody Mourinho puts on the pitch, no my play. Complain from today to tomorrow. When coach does selection, that is the end. Let Abramovich vex more than that. The coach who is the professional of your life, hey, hey, who loves you, has made a selection and he has chosen you. So, by the way, you are the one he chose to end corruption in Africa. You are the one he chose to end poverty in your family. I'm jumping my notes. Let's read one by Are we ready now? You read uh, uh, even number, uh, odd number, even number. Are we ready now? One to go. Uh huh. Uh huh. The Etite and the uh -huh, and the Amorite and the Canaanite and the Perisite and the Evite and the Jebusite. Seven nations greater and mightier than. Them. Don't forget the scripture we started. We are going to read it too. These are the the situations in me intimidating your family. Oh. These are the people telling you, "Oh, nigga, oh, nigga." Oh. This is, he said, mightier than thou. He said it there. So they are the ones shakarain you, making you feel and making you forget that you are a champion. But hear what God said. Verse 2, this my people. Sorry, Let's I'm go. My and Let's when go. the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, mm -hmm. thou that shalt smite right. them and that utterly that destroy right. them. Thou, thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy, mercy unto them. See, it is begin to say, I will train you. I will. He said, because championship DNA is in you. Next verse, everybody. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's go this way now. Want to go? For they will turn away thy son from following me, me that, that they may serve, serve other gods. So, so will the really anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Let's go. Want to go? But does. Uh huh. Uh huh. And born their graven images with fire. Verse 6, everybody. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God. Shut it. I've chosen you. Personalize it. Want to go again? For thou art an holy person. For I am an holy person unto the Lord my God. The Lord that my God has chosen me to be a special person unto himself, 
above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Can somebody on shout here? Let me hear your song. Verse seven, everybody. What did you see now? Love. Again. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because ye were. <laughs> For we were. Everybody, verse 8, want to go. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn with your father, and the Lord brought you out of the mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So somebody will celebrate here. He loves you, and he chose you. Why you not thinking you are not a champion? Why are you not thinking you are not a champion? Why are you thinking you are a nobody? Why are you thinking you are finished? Why are you thinking that everything is done with you? So I continue from that place of last week. But you see, this morning, I don't know the title to give this one. But we are still, you can call it Emmanuel Chapel, uh, 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 part two, or whatever you hear, or any title you hear, write it. But hear me now that you know that you are a champion i want to tell you this morning you are urgently needed urgency wa lorie so i want somebody to fly it on his status on his what is in your mind on facebook and just write there i am urgently needed ah i am ready to go around you urgently needed. Urgently needed. So this morning, I want to show you the reasons why you are urgently needed. I have not gone to emergency yet, though. I'm not yet in emergency yet. I have not showed you last week that you are a champion. Then this morning, I want to show you that you are the one they are waiting for. You are the one. Zacchaeus, you are the one. As I told you, you are the one they are waiting for. Ah, to deliver your generation. You are the one. No. You are urgently needed. The first scripture says the annex expectation of the creatures waited. In your own room, you they are waiting, and I will show you. I see they are waiting. So this morning you are urgently needed. And the message I want to preach this morning, I have not preached it this way before. When God told me to go and to share this with you, I say, ah. So you have prepared this message for these people too. I have not preached it to youth alone before. Youth alone. So I'm preaching it from the youth angle this morning. Those are following me to parents' meeting, we understand. Ah. Me, you are urgently needed, urgently needed, urgently needed, urgently, needed. urgently, urgently. Hey, because, because, but they were do bate take better. Ah, who is this? Is disturbing? Why is it lie? Who tap your neighbor? Tap your neighbor, tap your neighbor, eh? tap your neighbor, tap your neighbor, man, no man, man, no man, tap your neighbor, do bate take better. Come out, but you, what's it go? Did they let stand up everybody? Go and tell people if you don't bear. Take a bear. Excel. Bear. Isaac. Check it. Bear. If you don't bear, what? Something with the action left. You didn't hear me. Charles, if you don't bear, there are things that want to bear you. They want to bear Shonle. Your father, they want to bear Shonle. Your generation, they want to bear Shonle. So you must bear. So tap your chest in your chest. I am ungently needed. Sit down. So, we want to talk about the urgency of your needfulness. You are urgently needed. Urgently needed. Psalm 127. Psalm 127. I have not preached this for the youth before. I preach it for parents. But when God hits me on this this morning, say now, say, TFK, now tell it to the youth. 
in Lord Psalm 127, 127 verse 1. You see, a lot of you don't understand why you are going through challenges. I want to tell you one big news today. The reason why you fell sick and you almost died while you were small is because the devil is intimidated that the champion has arrived. You will do. And when you came, Jide, ah, who is the owner of this one? They did not blow a siren in on heart, but in the spiritual realm, there were sirens. Hey, money. Ah, mommy, there were sirens. But you know, in the physical, because they didn't give back to you in a royal house, you have now deceived your destiny that nobody knew I came. You will now be telling yourself, Talu mommy. Ah, Eba, one lay my team more into the OT Birani. But near even what diamond. It's because you have not been. So, him, when you came, there was commotion in the atmosphere. And I will tell you why now. First reason. So, a lot of you don't see yourself this way. That's why you can afford to be careless with your life. You can afford to mess up. You can afford to be ordinary because you don't know this one. And you know, I've been telling it to parents, but God, this is the first time that I am sitting youth down to preach this one to you. Somebody, see, somebody will leave this service mad in the Holy Ghost. You will see when we get there. You will get mad in the Holy Ghost. You will feel insulted by everything that has insulted your generation. Think again. There are a lot of people living inside insult and they have accommodated, accepted, settled for the insult. And you are the one they are waiting for to wake up and say, what the hell? What the hell? Why should this be happening in my family? But you know, you don't know. Your father does not know. It's because you were one year. Your father does not know. All your father and your mother knows is shocky shocky on the bed and you came. But this morning, I am giving you the understanding of why you came. Pariadu The reason why you came, what is the agenda? This is today you will understand that there's no bastard in the agenda of hearts. It's okay, God. Do. In the agenda of planet Earth, there's no bastard. So this is why we are hitting this morning. So that this morning, gift, you will reappreciate yourself despite that poor family where you are giving birth to. Ah, Egbo, you no no general law. Where do they send generals? Generals don't go to parties. Ah, somebody here. Generals don't go to where they are playing. Generals go to where it's tough. So if you if you feel your family background is so worst, ends why you the general king? The general. So and general sees battle and celebrate because they know that hey everything to quench the battle is in them so why are you here you are condemning your father you are condemning your mother you are condemning your generation is because you don't know the value of yourself has ronaldo ever seen free kick beside the box eating and is angry he will even put himself there so that they can fall him down. That is why you came. Your family is the box 18. You are the one that wants to kick the penalty. That is why you are the one that they are falling. They are falling you so that you can kick the penalty. The penalty that will remove your father from slavery. That will remove your mother from sickness. That will remove your family from pandemonium. That is why you are the one eating. I'm jumping my nose, but follow me. Psalm 27 verse 1 says, Except the Lord build the house, the labor in vain they that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked, but in vain. Verse 2, somebody. It is vain for you to rise up early and sit up late to eat the bread of the sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Next one. Lo, Kapuria, I and Lori. Children and heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Ladies and gentlemen, children an heritage of the Lord. Children. Is there somebody here who is a child? Are you not the, somebody's child? Are you not somebody's child? Then this morning, put your eyes away from mommy and daddy. Who you are, 
you are an heritage of the Lord. 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 Children are an heritage of the Lord. Even if, if it is BC of GS3 that slept with uh, shame of SS2 and a child came. He's not a bastard. Hey, they bomb you. I've been more considering. Children an heritage of the Lord. Have you ever wondered that BC of GS3 does not want a baby? Sheikh Bonvers 2 does not want a baby. They were only having sex and yet God put a baby. They don't need it. You think they don't need it? Yes, they don't need it, but God needs that agenda on planet Earth now. Let me not jump. So, children are the heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. That is for parents. I'll tell you, but children are so you are an heritage of the Lord. What, what is an heritage? Somebody, something that is preserved, cared for, prepared by generation. So you can see parents have heritage, families have heritage, and they take care of it very well. So now imagine what God calls his own heritage. And that's who you are. They have everything. They will tell their children, I have seven plot of land here. I have this bank account here. I have this. They keep it so well that they hand it over to the next generation. Then God now says, You are my heritage. You are not calling yourself a bastard because you don't know your father. Who told you? You are not calling yourself a waste because your father has seven wives and they don't take care of you. You are not calling yourself a pastor because your mother cannot pay your school fees now and you feel you are a nobody. Excuse me. And the person that gave us reward, only a more value reward, there. it doesn't change that you are an heritage. Oh, they bought me by you. The person that gave the reward, only you understand the reward there. Oh, no mess up. They are the one messing up with their reward. They don't play with their reward. So whether they mess up with their reward or not does not stop you from being what? An heritage in the hand of the Lord. Somebody screamed this morning, I am an heritage. That's who you are. Number, one. Number two. Next verse. Ah! Holy. As arrows are in the hand of the mighty, so are the children. In the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. This is where we are starting from this morning. Right. And I got crazy. This, this revelation came to me in 1999. 99, nine days dry fasting. I was asking God some questions about my life. That's where my life begins to receive a jeer. It turned around. This is what I'm giving to you this morning since 1999. Nine days dry fasting. When, as a pastor's son, I started sex from SS1. Pornography. Yet, yet, morning devotion in my house is 4 a.m. Breakfast is 6 a.m. 6.15, they have dropped me in school. But the moment they go, I am back in the, in the area where they took me from. My parents will drive a go. Me, I will leave that place and come back to that house that they left. A lot of you, are, you don't understand the reason why you have gone through these messes in your life. You will leave this service a refreshed person. You will leave this service with an understanding of who you are as a champion, as an heritage in the hand of God and as an instrument for the war of God. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's what we are really hitting. So, you will stop, you will stop, you will stop carrying yourself anyhow. But you are oh, Kinshe AK-47 Lord daddy, you are a bazooka in the hand of God. I might jump in my notes. Bomb I am your battle last. Oh, atomic bomb. Coronavirus. Oh, go near. Oh, get. No, 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 I'm jumping my notes. So, let's, let's go one by one. As arrows are in the hand of the mighty. So, this is the first question. Hey, Joe, we are talking about a child here. Why is it that God did not see anything to compare a child with? In this scripture, God would have said, As flowers are in the hand of the mighty. Show will find you. Show more what tenderly. 
very tenderly child. So God would have said, if this Bible verse said, as flowers are in the garden of a rich man. Is it not the good scripture? A jare. Is it not a good scripture? As flowers are in the garden of a rich man. We won't argue with God on that. But he said, as arrows are in the hand of the mighty man, so are the children. So, mommy, I'm saying that you are urgently needed. You were not created a flower. You were created an arrow. You were not created a paper. You were created an arrow. Matthew, I will show you the arrow thing now. You were created an arrow. You were created an arrow. A strong arrow. That is how you are created. So why are you carrying yourself anyhow, anyhow? You that God has sent to come and arrow anything, arrow able in your family, in Africa, in Nigeria, in agricultural sector, in the world sector, in politics, in economics, in the world of science, in the world of business. He designed you to come and arrow anything, arrow able. So Zacchaeus, you be arrow. You be arrow. So why, why do you think that you are finished? No, you are not finished. You are not thrown away. You be arrow. You were created an arrow. So why did God create you an arrow? Next verse. You are. You are. I'm coming back to that arrow later. You are urgently needed. Hear me, everybody. Timothy saw, and you know, I saw. There is a big fight. Trust it last week. There is a big fight. So let everybody on the sex bed see. I am preparing you for your sex bed when you marry. Now that you are not doing sex and you are just enjoying the pleasure and you don't understand that you are telling God, Oh my god, I'm jumping my nose. That you are telling God, send your next arrow through me. Yet yet deep gone. Yet deep gone. We'll get there. We'll get it. Is somebody getting blessed already? You are not going to see the reason why it is that, sorry to use it, that dirty family that you came from. You are not going to see the reason why it is that pain family. That family where there is pain. There is no day that you have an opportunity to celebrate in your family. Yes, it is because you have not arrived there because you are the one that will take away the pain going somewhere this morning. Do, how, do generals go to parties? Have you seen generals just be saying anyhow? People are connecting already. This is why you came. So you are designed as an arrow. So I now said, you are an arrow because there is a fight. Big fight. Art one. But you know what? They read this scripture at all naming ceremony, but they didn't explain it to your parents and they didn't explain it to you. Hence, you carry yourself anyhow. So now, I celebrate the home I came from. Because yeah, yeah. This is the end of this one. The beauty of a general is how many battles he can conquer. Ah, hello, Lily. I know Lily. Uh, I think somebody will pray now. I sense the urge to pray now. I sense the great urge to pray now. See, okay? The beauty of a general is how many wars you can conquer. family Somebody didn't get this. The not give between that family of trouble. You are now angry. Instead of you to rise as an arrow and begin to conquer. Ladies and gentlemen, we know arrows by the stars on their shoulder. So what is poverty? Stay doing in your family. You are the one that is supposed to conquer it. What is sickness? Stay doing in your family. Hey, Bukola, where will you collect the star of conquering poverty? Where will you collect the star of conquering sickness? Where will you collect the star of conquering that problem? When, 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 when? Our general the star. We know generals by the battle they can conquer. We know generals.
generals by what they can do with the enemies poverty in your family is an enemy sickness in your family is an enemy problem in your family is an enemy a biku in your family is an enemy whatever your family is an enemy you are the general you are the general but ladies and gentlemen let it go down let it go down let it go down i look at your shoulder i cannot see any star i look at your shoulder i cannot see any star the poverty is still ruling your family the sickness is still ruling your family the adiku is still ruling your family hey one tell your car is still ruling your family when will you conquer when will you get the star when will you turn it to star nobody in your family has broken shoulders i am looking at your shoulders when will you collect the star of poverty when will you rule poverty in your family i am looking at your shoulders when will you stop that sickness in your family when will you conquer that sickness in your family your star your shoulder is empty your shoulder is empty isaac your shoulder is empty when will you take poverty out when will you take sickness out when will you take abiku out when will you take it out when will you take it out when will you take it out, when will you take it out? I am your battle hey. I am a man of war hey. I am your battle everybody I am your battle hey. everybody
in Jesus. Mighty name we are praying. Sit down. Sit down. See that on the throne. We try out in your eyes. Come on. You are the man of war. I am your battle. I am your battle. I am your battle. I am your battle. You are the man of war. I am your battle I am your I am your battle You are the of war I am looking at your shoulders By the way, I am looking at your shoulders I'm looking at your father's shoulders. It's empty. Poverty is still raining. Who will take out poverty? Abiku is still raining. Who will take out Abiku? One King Deli come. Nobody passes the age of 40. Nobody goes to the university and graduates. Who will take it out? But God is seated in heaven. His eyes shining with fire. And he has empowered you. But but you came. You came. You see yourself. Ah, I'm not teaching Buruku. May God deliver us. Ah, Zacchaeus, you see yourself as a boy. I said, who told you you are a boy? Shout, Abiyaro! They now, they now finish you. They say you are a girl. Girl. Oh, mama, they now take the girls. They now add, they hand out to your own. This is what you cannot do. This is what you cannot do. Are all my girls getting fire this morning? Shout, Abiyaro! Who told you? You are a boy. Kilonje boy. Who is calling you boy? Who is calling you gay? Who is calling you woman? You are haro. Ewo, ejo, ewo bi, ewo mi, ejo, ewo bi, ejo, ejo. Does the million dollars in Serena Williams' account is he fighting her? She won't be ready. Why should she have money? Is that Jano? Is Jano Serena Williams? She won't be ready. Oh, yeah, key. By the time the million dollars is coming, he will say no. He will say no. It's not Serena Williams that we don't know. It's the money that we say. No. Ah, but oh, one why? He was alone. He born woe. Glory in why? He was alone. He born glory. You don't know the one. Ah, go. Hello to Lily. Hello to Lily. Who is the owner of this one? Ah, it's coming for the girls, but the guys can't take it. Now, because you don't know you are an arrow, the only place they see you, sorry, is on the football feet. The only place they see you is if you don't think tire. Then because you don't know you are a correct arrow, the only place they see you is in ordinary bush. Hear me? Because you don't know who you are, you have refused to go and hunt in the forest of greatness. In the forest of greatness, you want it all. Because you don't know the quality of the arrow that you have. When an hunter is sure of his gun, mommy said, and is sure of his arrow, there is no forest he will not put her. So who told you you cannot do politics? They will say no. No. 
Who told you you cannot be the best engineer? And you now look at your testimony. You now say, no, I can't apply for that scholarship. Oh, I go to school. I know I can't apply. But the way I apply, the one. Koshe, Koshe, Ori, Oshe, Ko. This morning, I release you all to the forest of greatness. And you will not die there. Ah, somebody will say, you will not die there. I say you will not die there. I say you will not die there. Go and hunt. Let that fly. Hey, everybody shout. I will hunt every glory huntable. Hey, my sorrow, my sorrow. I can't hear you now. I can't hear you now. I can't hear you now. Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, this is for you. Somebody hear this one. I heard it for heard it for Zacchaeus. Exact not to lele. Ego, ego, timo go, ego, timo go. There are spoils your father's shot and won. Come on, they come be daily. Your father has hunted some things. But what is battle? Come on, you are here. You are here. Come on, you are here. What is battle? They collected the spoil, the big element. Oh, one in the forest. Oh, somebody, are you here this morning? I release you with the power and the anointing of God. Go to that forest. The one your father killed, oh, you carry. Oh, you carry. Oh, you kill your own. Oh, you kill your own. Oh, you kill your own. And bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it. Oh. I am your battle, everybody. I am your battle. You are the man of war. I am your battle. Timothy, pray. Timothy, pray. Timothy, pray. I am your battle. I am your battle. Bright, pray. Bright, pray. Pray, 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 pray. You are the man of war. I am your battle. I am your battle. Yahweh, I am your battle. You are the man of war. You are the man of war. I am your battle. I am your battle. I am your battle. I am your battle. I would somebody kill a spoil and he will not take it home. Ah, that girl. I want to see one more that took back one day. I wrote one big dollar. As your amen thunder, I don't know why it's coming this way. Every spoil your father could not take home. Every spoil your mothers could not take home. Receive the arrows of the Almighty. Enter into that forest and come back with those spoils. Come back with those spoils. Come back with those spoils. In the name of Jesus. Sit down, sit down. Is somebody getting blessed already? Uh, I have not preached. I have not preached one over hundred of what I have this morning. So let's just do tonight that I am going and pray. There is a fight. So I mock me. It's because your father did not know there is a fight. Ah, that is why he tried to go into the forest of greatness with ordinary knife. More below forest of greatness. Where giants are existing. He will finish him. Oh, you, I'm releasing you as an arrow. You think you'll be harrow? That be, that be. You see all those problems around you. It's because you are an arrow. Just follow this teaching. Don't miss next week. Oh. Next week I will start early. The time has gone again now. Today. And I don't want to keep you beyond time. Don't miss next week. No, these are the things I said to that God bless me 
and people say I've done juju money. Mommy, I said, go ye money. Mwa mo pe all the spoil that my father left. Ni mo shingba o ah eh boro. I have not started my own. I am still carrying all the spoils of my father. Uri e mo shi wa you. So if you think I am blessed, you are deceiving yourself. Me blessed. Allah will still bless me by you. Okoshin, okofuminiaru. And I went to the forest of greatness and I'm packing everything my father and mother could not use at their age. So when God now start blessing me. So these are the things I settled in my brain. In my destiny. 1999 was when God, nine days dry fasting. Malu Fayek Badura, we should find gear up and down. Find gear to Matosha. We should find your way. Moko Kotoku, so you go to my Dale Watunukuro. You remain your normal self. And the Kaye, you woman low pancake. I'm not, I'm not against it all. You see, come out as you are, but they know what they know who you are. But there's some people who pancake, 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 but want to finish. Everything is wrong with them. I want to see my beautiful girls here. You are beautiful than your pancake. Your destiny is beautiful than your pancake. When they see you as beautiful as you are, when they check you, Okusine. But we have people, your totality is your makeup. Yeah, go to any makeup. You don't have any real up. Let's preach. There's a fight. You just give back to children and they say, eh, in the name of the Father, we name him, we name him, name him. They didn't know that an haru has come. Let me show you. Next verse, verse 5. You will know now. Verse 5. All of you, all of you shout this one. People outside, you can read. Your eyes will be clear. You see your Bible. In the, in the name of in the day of your naming ceremony, they read this one. But they didn't get the interpretation of what they are reading. Come back, get here. They will not undo their children anyhow. And they will not give up on any child. Everybody want to go read. Want to go. Happy is the man. That is quiver and full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gates. Ah. Four hours, Lily. We are going home. Eleba is four hours. Now, follow me. You see our parents? In the whole of this verse, is one they fulfill. I will show you now. Happy. So the day the child came, mommy said, "I told you." The day the child came, the child was crying. You, you are joyous, happy. No problem. But they don't know that the child know why he's crying. They don't know. But the only thing we fulfilled there is happy. They kill everybody. Ekwe wamo, esheu. Yeah, they are really scriptures. They will kill Ram. They will kill everything. It's good. Happy is the man that is quiver. So I won't come. They give out to one, two, three, four, five. But hear me. They were hear my English. You know I have F9 in English. Hear my English correctly. But you know when I want to preach, my English is perfect. They were happy five times, sad 20 times. I take it again. They were their happiness is in past tense. The happiness in what? Why are your mom born? Why are your mom born? You're born son English father. Don't you go? Why are your mom? She born up to today. Why are your mom born? They celebrated Daniel. They celebrated the coming of the child, but up till now they've not been able to celebrate the glory of the child. Is that a child in this house whose amen will thunder? You will be the reason why your parents will celebrate glory. Now, life now? Which glory? Why results? You want your genius money? Yeah, you know why you Is that the only year your parents will be on you? Try your touch, one son's in me. You should be me 
is here tomorrow. The white, like my own now. You know, the white result is package. Eh? Uh -huh. Oh, graduate. Kilo for graduation. What have you done with the graduation? If you are not careful, some people's graduation is sadness for their parents. Because it's only a little too awful. It's increased their expectation and you fall them down. But now, ah, he has graduated though. He has graduated though. And they are expecting glory. Oh, go not die world of useless unemployment. Somebody whose amen will thunder. I decree by the reason of the anointing. My mother sees me and celebrates. My mother sees me and is happy. As your amen thunder, you become the source of joy for your family. Hello, Lele. Obasi wa lori joko iwa lo eron ye. Go mo boni yo. E mimi money can decree as in life we. Ask me to decree this one to your life. It's one word, me or two body. Ah, somebody here today, by the reason of the anointing, happiness in your own will no longer be fake. I don't know why God asked me to say that. I don't know why God asked me to say that. Happiness in your own will no longer be fake. Moko. Okay. No one form happiness. They will say, Ah, who's your name? This one. They say, Don't come, Momo. Your parents are using you to lie to people. You are here. They say, You to lie to people. They don't come, Momo. Because they know that when you come, where is faith? Where is faith? Where is faith? Where is faith? They say, You to lie to people. That is in, is in, once you fake happiness. Is in, is in. Because, but they know that when you come, you are a failure. Ah, talo lele. Polu watim beti mi resim be. As the Lord liveth and the Spirit, somebody in this place, I plant you by the rivers of living water. I plant you by the rivers of living water. You will be a source of joy. Sit down. Now, the real matter now begins. Let me touch my God. They shall not be ashamed. Why did the Bible have to come up with shame? I don't know why. Here is happiness. Next is full of quiver. Atishele. Why is it that the next thing that came out is they shall not be ashamed? Hear me. Bible more got also. We will break it down. I've, I've not preached this to youth before. I've only preached it to parents. But it is time to give it to the youth so that you can pray. But, right. The people that attended the happy ceremony are ready to make you a source of shame to your parents. They are the same people that came for the happiness ceremony. They can be the organizer of your shame. The fabricator of your shame. So hear me everybody. Shame is looming around around. I mean, come they shall not be ashamed. So God knows that this happiness is as no warranty and guarantee. Hey, God, this happiness has no warranty and guarantee. It ends immediately they eat the rice and they eat the meat and they go. Immediately, this thing they are happy for can, be, can become sick and die. This thing they are happy for can have accident. This thing can, they are happy for can go to primary six and not promote. This thing they are happy for can ride jump and fail. This thing they are happy for can loan you koto loli oko. This thing they are happy for can just be wasted. So hear me. They shall not be ashamed. So shame is looming. Me, put it on camera. It's there. I've said it everywhere. My mother came to my school, secondary school, five times. She wept back home. Shame, Buruku. I was the terror in the school. But today, I'm a testimony. You will become a testimony. So, if you are not careful, the Bible has arranged in this verse the word and opposite. Shame, me, Mokon. Yeah, then woe me, man. You see me that wrote it. And then woe me. Shame, this is word. In opposite, go in. Your life will not live opposite. So, happiness can be there. You can also become a source of shame. Now, hear the real fight. 
but they shall speak against they shall speak with the enemies in the gate or happiness lasso then we had a shame we can still understand that hey and you make sure you mad you to me how many of you are hiding from your parents that me long that me long that me long how many of you are hiding from your parents mad you to me so yes it no man mad you to me you even go one bible we call him okay see there's in the bible mad you to me so it's normal mad you to me mad you to me it's okay that prosper coordinate yourself did they coordinate yourself Ah, Isaac, call the um, Zacchaeus, coordinate yourself. Man, do you see me? It's okay. So I will only package myself and try not to make my parents ashamed. While you are pacing up and down, first point, there is a gate and it's locked. There is a gate and it's locked because the essence of gate is for him to prevent people from moving. So you guys, there are gates. No wonder there are things you want to cross for, from, and enter into things. There are places you want to press into. There are new levels you want to enter. You see that you've not been able to enter. Hope you didn't forget. Go and get our teaching. Uh, gates be lifted. Tell me on, on his, uh, Telegram is there. Go and hear that message. I can't wait on that. There are gates. There are gates. So it is, a, it is true that you are saying, Mommy, I will not make you ashamed. I will pass primary six. I will pass Waek. I will pass Jam. I will pass university. What then the gates? One what kokoro? There are people. First one, there are gates, and you cannot pass that gate if you don't have the key. Somebody receive the keys to gates. The gates of your life receive the keys now, guys. There are gates. So have that understanding. Gift. There are gates. The reason why you look stranded now is because you didn't know there are gates. There are gates. So, and each gate has a key. So, but you know what, Isaac? You know what I like about God? He, he doesn't want you to use key. He wants you to blow the gates. There's somebody here now. Ah, Loki, mobile. What about location, Machiri? Because we are not using key. Go to Isaiah 45. He said he would make the gate, uh, the living gates, be wide open. Oh, she gets you won't blow any. It means that I have opened it. Hear me now. It can never be locked. You didn't get me now. Now, bright. The moment you open it, if you allow it to be locked, your brother will still suffer. Your sister will still suffer. Your younger ones will suffer. So we don't need to open this gate. We need to do what? I can't hear you. We need to do what? We need to do what? Blow it. So when you blow it, mommy can pass. When you blow it, daddy can pass. That is why you are an arrow. You are an arrow. You are a missile. You are a nuclear weapon. I pray for somebody here. Every gate where your family is stranded, you will blow it. I say you will blow it. And your generation will pass. In the name of Jesus. Sit down as we close for today. The last one. Toba wa jekwe kako shigeti nikoni. You have decided, mommy, you will not be ashamed. Daddy will not be ashamed. Now you now know that it's a gate. You now say yes. I will use my arrow to blow the gate. Oh yeah, now. But the moment you lifted your arrows, everybody look again. Go back. Okay, let me read that. I will go before thee and make the crooked person straight. I will break. Did you see now? Shall you read Bible? See. I got. Check. Hallelujah. Check. Kill. Let me God bless you. What's my check? Kill. Let me check. Kill. What she gets in me? I felt for. A little check. Is that? Check it, man. It's not key. Key key. We need that key. I want to key. She want to see that. See, mommy, me enduro. That one, bro, me enduro. See, we're going in enduro. Let me unlock you. Go fear of four down. Every gate where your family is trying to shall be broken in the name of Jesus. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut asunder the bars of iron. You be arrow. Are you getting that now? You be arrow. You know be key. Key. <laughs> you be arrow. So consider that 
Psalm 107 verse 5 now. With Isaiah 45 verse 2. Now, go back to that one. So now, you want to break the gate as we close for today. One, up, seven, verse 5. You want to break the gate. Now, you have the energy. You have everything. You want to break the gate. Ladies and gentlemen, there are enemies at the gate. Go back to Belili. There are enemies at the gate. You don't want to make your parents ashamed. You don't want to mess up. The moment you want to carry your arrows, some enemies are saying that you will not go. Some people are saying that you will not cross. There are people, Bishop, I don't want to say this. There are people that are not happy that you are happy. There are people that for the father, your, your mother told them, Hey, exactly that the share she why keep by you. There are people. There are people that are happy that in the whole of your generation, all of you are in one place. They're lower you. They are happy. There are people like that. So you can't sit down. Now your mother did not get star. Your father did not get star. You won't you get the star? Won't you break these gates? So there are enemies. And the reason why I'm telling you, you are a champion. You are the one they are waiting for. You are the one to break all these things. You are the one to turn it around. You are the one to cause this trouble. You are the one to go there and say, Lord, enough is enough. I told God about my family. Enough is enough. Don't forget it. Beginning of this one that we call it. I am urgently needed. Somebody say it. Let me hear it again. Is somebody blessed today at all? I am what? I can't hear you now. I am what? Ah? Huh? Right. You are urgently needed. Zacchaeus, you are urgently needed. One of the reasons why you are urgently needed is that, let me go back to that arrow now and round it off for today. Two points. We'll follow it. One of the reasons why you're urgently needed is this. Ah, I like this one. Umi, don't joke with this one. Some champions have gone ahead of you, but they are stranded. Let it go down. Get the engineer. Nothing. Nowhere. As a mommy told me one story, she said it here. That a very big machine was spoiled in the printing press. That girl's my belly, you. When my father was working as the operator. Machine, yeah, budget. When the machine is spoiled. And I go, they flew an expatriate all the way from London. First class, ready, to come and repair the machine. The guy stays in first class hotel. Collects daily money. I will hour, number. Daily money to work on the machine. To attempt day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. Do you both spend time oh, collecting their money, eating the, the, the old thing? And yeah, yeah, he could not repair the machine. Oh. Then my father, when Doimbo was now tired and left, he collected his money. Because once that someone, my father now went to sit down with the machine. Baga, baga, first day, second day. He has Holy Ghost still. Holy Ghost gave him the idea again. He came. Ladies and gentlemen, my father repaired the machine you could not repair. And you know, one story, so that is the chief engineer. He still remained an operator in that place. Say God helped him. What am I saying? There are people that have gone ahead of us. Champion, want it tiraka? Want it try? Are your parents not hustling? Are they not trying? But they are a lot of them have become stranded champions. It's in the Bible, First Samuel 17. Saul and the elder brothers of David, they are champions, but they were all stranded champions. So they are before the war. Your mommy, your daddy, your generation is before the war. Champ, standard. But hear me. The boy David came. The day they were giving birth to David, they didn't know that a champion has been designed 
to come. Rise up as we close this service this morning. Ah, just five minutes prayer. This is what we want to pray. Hear me. Hear me. Daniel, Joseph, when people are stranded at a battlefield, that means they did reinforcement. Am I correct? Let it go down. Let it go down. Stop it. This is the last one. Prayer point in you. Holy Ghost, put your hand on your head. Say what pastor wants to say. Let me understand. Let it sink. Say, it again. say what pastor wants to say. Let me understand. Let it sink. Now listen. Two minutes, I'll run it up. So, they need reinforcement. One. Now, right. In the reinforcement, there is something I know. It is either, I like this one, the instrument the enemy is using is better than the one your people are using. So when reinforcement is coming, they should come with upgraded instruments. Hear me? You are the upgraded arrow of God. Here yeah, this morning. You cannot fight with the instruments your father fought with. Ah. You cannot fight with the instruments they've been fighting with. When reinforcement is coming, they come with upgraded arrow. So hear me. You are not just an arrow. You are an upgraded arrow. You want to pray this morning. Lord, make me your battle axe fit for this generation. Are you praying? Are you praying? Make me Make me a battle axe. Fit for this generation. Five minutes prayer. Five minutes prayer. Arrows. Arrows. Arrows.